Hey guys, so I have now been in Sweden for five months and I think I have had the biggest month so far. Like, uh, yeah, my last month has been absolutely crazy, hence why I'm a little late on the update. But uh, as I was saying um, in the end of my last vlog, I went to Italy and that was so incredible. It was one of the best trips um, of my life, really. I went with a choir from like a culture school that I joined and most of the people went to my school. Um, and we kind of knew each other, but not so well, but I mean, after this trip, yes, we were all great friends. I made some incredible friends. Um, some of the things which we did, like, the first night we got there, it was like 11.30, really late, and we were just like, to the leaders or whatever, oh, can we go for a swim? And they're just like, yeah, of course, like, what? So much freedom, but yeah, so we went, um, and it was really dark, we really couldn't see much, and we just went for a swim at midnight, which was really fun. Uh, it smells a bit like seaweed though we didn't pick a good part of the beach because we couldn't see anything but I mean that was really fun to do um, and then the next day I think we got to explore some caves so we went on a boat off the well the island that I was on is called um, Sardinia and so like we went from the main island off to like little islands and to the caves and like you went through this walk through the caves and that was really spectacular um, I made a video of Italy, but, uh, I mean, it's, I think it's easier to explain things, but if you want to find the video, it's on my channel. Uh, some other things, basically what we are doing there with the choir was just singing and performing. So, we performed on the streets, um, we performed in a nursing home, which was, uh, I love old people, they're so cute, so it was, like, so fun, like, to, like, perform for them, and they were like, happy, and some of them were clapping and trying to sing along, and that was really fun. Um, we performed in like a, mm, this dome place that's had really good acoustics. Uh, we just really performed everywhere and it was so fun to see like the people just like crowd around and like want to watch and smile and that. That was really good. Um, and also a bit of a nerve wracking one. We performed um, at a restaurant. Um, four of us girls performed a song. Someone recorded it so I'm going to try and get the video off it and put it on my YouTube. But yeah, that was really cool experience because I'd never performed, you know, like live at a cafe at a restaurant or something with like a lot of people watching so kind of incredible another big thing was prom so um basically i'm in third year here and i will gr i graduated and i'm gonna go back to the start of third year so i got to experience prom um prom is quite different to how we do it in australia um Basically, like, you start off, um, at a pre's, like, whatever, and, like, you just have, like, food and all that, and then you, um, and then you go, um, normally have, like, a nice car, and you go in the car and you go around the town, and, like, a lot of people come out to watch, like, all the people going to prom, and then after that, like, you get out of the car and we have the prom in a hotel, but you walk down, like, this... It's not, it's like a red carpet without the red carpet, so you have all the barriers up, and the whole town comes out to see the prom and watch, and so you walk down with, like, cameras flashing and all these people looking at you, and it's just, like, really incredible, you just, like, feel famous or something, it's really nice, um, and then, you know, it was, like, pretty much then the same after that, so we had, like, a, like, a nice sit-down dinner and speeches, but they're in Swedish, so I didn't really understand some of them. And, uh, but, you know, it was a really nice night, and then after that, you was just, like, it was, like, the hotel is also, like, a dance club, I guess, so then there was, like, dancing and that, and it was all together, like, a really fun night. Um, and then after prom, I did a couple of cool things. I went to the bathhouse in town with, uh, some friends from school, and, you know, that had, like, a wave pool and a slide and that, and that was really great. Also, it was National Swedish Day, I, like, their national day, I don't know what the day is. But uh, it's, I think, uh, they say it's like a fa fairly new holiday, only like 10 years old, so they don't celebrate it as much as they would, or, or as much as we do Australia Day, but um, I went to, my host parents took me to like a park where there was um, a military band, and one of my friends was playing in the band, so it was good to see, and you know, they had some songs, and some more speeches, and that sort of thing. So it was really nice to um, see, I think, like an important part of the culture, which is like a national day. And then, um, oh yes, I, my host family have a boat, uh, and we went out, um, they're like in part of this boat club, and they have like their own little island in, off Gothenburg, so we went there for two days, and you know, it was really nice, not the best weather, but, uh, I went in, like, it has a sauna, so I do like the sauna, and then you jump in the ocean, which is freezing, but, uh, it was really cool to see, and like a really nice, uh, kind of holiday, I guess. 
Then, um, with all the exchange students in my district, so there's 15 of us, got together for the last, um, it was like a goodbye meeting to all our oldies, so all the Americans and Canadians leaving. Um, and that was kind of fun because we were supposed to do a speech in Swedish, which, uh, which I did. And, uh, and it was like a bit like nerve wracking and you didn't really know what you're saying, but you know, it was a good time hearing all the exchange students' experiences, like, we had to answer questions like what we enjoyed most of exchange and that sort of thing. So that was fun to have like a final organised rotary thing with them all. Then I had my last class speaker, um, and that was really sweet, you know, we all the class got together. Like, Fika is like a coffee break, but with like nice food and things, I guess. A very, very Swedish thing. Uh, yeah, so I had that, um... And that was, that was nice to say goodbye and they showed this big video with all photos and it had some photos of me because it was of their last three years and so it was like really surprising to see like some photos of me and them together and it was really sweet and uh, it was just like made me feel so fondly towards like the class. Uh, and then, what else was there? I just have it all written down here, that's why I keep glancing over. Uh, and then I, um, one of the girls, Hannah, she's one of my really good friends, um, she had all the whole class over to her house for like a movie night, I guess. But we ended up going to a lake and playing Kub, which is like a Swedish game. Really hard to explain like in a short time, but it was really fun. And you know, um, we just like all ate together and got pizza and just had a good time. And it's so amazing how much more things you do in summer in Sweden. Like everyone, when it's summer, they get outside. Like they are not staying inside. So it's like... I've done so much and had like almost every day doing something, whereas in winter, you know, you might do something once a week. Um, and then um, something that was really cool was um, there was um, international markets in town. So like you could go and try all different um, food. Yes, there we go. Food. And they had an Australian market and there was an Australian there and it was really cool to like hear that accent after a long time. And I, um, I tried kangaroo. Unfortunately, it was really disgusting. And it was expensive burger. It was like almost, I don't know, 15 Australian dollars. And But, you know, it was an experience. It just tastes really meaty and uh, gross. Not good, but, but again, a good experience. Uh, I also tried like from the French market, like a croissant and the more like delicious type of food that they had. Um, and then it was graduation. And graduation in Sweden is one of the hugest things in your life next to like your wedding, basically. Um, so it's called studenten, which like translate as the student, which is really weird because they say like, oh, we're gonna take the exam, but taking the exam means graduating. Kind of confusing, but anyway, basically it started with like a champagne breakfast, but uh, for me and the other exchange student, no, uh, alcohol-free champagne kind of thing, and that was like at five in the morning. Then we took some photos, and then we went to school and took some photos with our class, and then we had like a last kind of class gathering where we ate some food, and they gave out like little awards. I don't have mine with me because I just moved house, but and I left it, but I have to get it. And I got like class princess, and that was so special. And the other exchange student in my class got class prince, and that was like really fun to like get that and uh, like have the class. Like they have wrote like oh you uh, a, like a really cute message on it as well, and uh, it just feels really you know nice um, as a final thing. Because I probably won't see most of my class because they all go off to university and other places. Um, and then, okay, so after that, then um, what you do is like, there's the front of the school and it's like boarded off and then there's parents everywhere. Like I would say there's a good like 600 people. And like you run out with your class, you sing this traditional Swedish song. And then like you get into the, there's like a little stage circle bit that you get up and, and you all dance to a song and then like you run out and find your parents or, um, and I found like my host parents and they give you like little gifts, um, that you put around your neck and wear. And that was like so nice that my host parents had like a made a sign for me cause like, uh, they make all signs to, so you can find them and, um, that was really nice. But then the best part or what I think was the best part is your whole class gets on a truck and goes around town. For about two hours. A lot of them are getting drunk. It's basically like uh, dance music. Everyone's dancing and like some people are drunk and they're trying to throw alcohol on you and you're just like, whoa. And, uh, um, but it was still, it was still fun. Like, um, me and uh, the American Exchange student just had like energy drink to get ourselves like pumped up. And so that was, that was still fun. And it was just such a cool experience because again, we have nothing like it in Australia. And, like, when the trucks, like, of each class go past each other, like, you all hold out your hand and, like, touch hands with the other class and everyone's just in such a good mood. 
and my camera turned off. Likely story. <laughs> Always does this, but soldiering through. Um, after that, uh, after the trucks, then we had like a nice dinner with my host family um, and Shane, the American exchange student, his family was there and it's kind of like everyone goes back to their family and does like a nice thing and then that night you go out to town and uh, party I guess but I had gotten up at four so I didn't stay out partying too long um, but it was still fun to like dance with all the class and um, we went to this really cool like building and then in the basement there was just this really cool dance floor and like smoke machine and lights and that so that was fun but uh, yeah a long night but overall such an incredible experience and to be out like I there's 15 Australian and New Zealander exchange students in Sweden and I was the only one that got to experience graduation and prom and that so I'm just so fortunate and it was such a cool thing then um, after graduation I had one of the exchange students had a birthday Bronte she was turning 18 so we had like a nice little get together with the exchange students um, and then a really big Swedish thing is Midsummer. So Midsummer, there's a lot of like Swedish traditions involved, I guess. Um, Midsummer is on a Saturday, but like everything in Sweden, you celebrate the eve of it. So Christmas Eve, like Christmas Day means nothing, but Christmas Eve is a big thing. So on, um, as I was saying previously about the island, um, I went with my host parents to the island, and my second host family also has a boat and is with that boat club. So I stayed on their boat. Um, of my second host family because I like moved th over that weekend and now obviously with this new location I have definitely moved but uh as I was saying yeah so we you eat like herring and uh and uh all just uh potatoes and just like meatballs and all this this like traditional Swedish food and then uh you decorate okay so it's in the shape of a this is like a you decorate a pole and it's in the shape of a cross and then it has like two circles hanging from it and uh like you're supposed to dance around it and sing a song about frogs uh apparently i wasn't there when they did this because um they ended up doing it at midnight when all the adults got really drunk because midsummer is like a drinking holiday i guess um and yeah i didn't get to see it but i heard it was really funny but what we did um uh, my host sister was down from Lynn Chapping and she came with us and um, her boyfriend and a girl from France that um, she knows well. And Yeah, so it was really fun to hang out with them and uh, just have like an all together good time with both my host families that were there. Uh, I really enjoyed myself. It's quite like, oh well, if I explain Midsummer, for all those of you who are like, what the hell is Midsummer? Um, it's a... Uh, it's a holiday that celebrates the lightest day of the year, so um, the sun didn't go down till about 11ish, so it's still light, and that's what it's been like in Sweden. Uh, just like you can, yeah, walk home nine o'clock at night, it's still bright as day, kind of thing. So it celebrates that, and no one really knows like what religion or anything that it came from. It's just like seem to worship the old gods, like a uh, Thor and all that sort of thing, which is which was a really cool experience to have. Um, and then, as I was talking about before, I have now moved to my next host family, and I'm really loving it. Um, I have a host sister, but she spent midsummer in Greece, so she's not living here at the moment. But I also have a little host dog named Vida, and she's so beautiful, and it's so fun to have a dog. But yeah, um, my, I'm lucky that my two hosts, first, my first host family and my second host family are really good friends. So, you know, I like met them all and everything, and uh, yeah, I'm just really enjoying myself. But... The biggest thing is tomorrow I will go on Euro Tour. So I think it's like eight or nine countries around Europe with um, 68 exchange students. Um, and I'm going to be uh, filming it all similar to what I do for the Italy video and the Gothenburg weekend and that sort of thing. So I'll be filming it all. I also have a midsummer video that I will put up sometime. Hoping to do it before Euro Tour, but I haven't started packing yet, so probably not going to happen. But I'll, yeah, I'll put it up sometime. Um, but yeah, so I'm sure you will, in about three weeks or so, see a lot about Euro Tour. But that is all for this really big month, as you can see. And I will be up with another video in the next month, hopefully. But yeah, see ya!